Hello and welcome to this video which will be all about booking appointments on Bubble and creating such a booking system where you can book appointments with coaches. So just quickly the overview, we have three coaches to choose from, Marielle, Ali and Kelly. We choose Kelly and then we see her availability on a calendar, we click a date and we see all the hours uh, possible and click request and then we see it's booked and then if on Kelly's side, of course, on a different page, this would be she clicks accept, then you can find this underneath your appointments. So how to do this? We're first gonna go over the database setup. Then we're gonna link the calendar with ours as we just saw, and then we're gonna go over the functionality I used to request and approve appointments. By the way, thank you very much. This video will get me across the 1000 subscriber mark. So I do hope you subscribe and please also feel free to suggest any video um, so you may want me to create content on. So let's go over the database setup here. When we go over to the data tab, I have coaches. So we can see all the coaches, an image of them, the name and the subject they cover, as we see here in a repeating group. Then next, we can see appointments, another data type I created. Here, uh, each appointment is linked to a coach. So is this appointment part uh, of Kelly's or of Ali's appointments? And then we have a date for each appointment at what time it is and an hour. Hours, I use an option set here. So I went over to option sets and clicked create new option set. I call it hours and I added all the hours from zero to 24. This might be redundant this last hour now that I notice. And of course, you could also set up the database in a different way such that Kelly, for example, can decide which hours she is available on, but we're going to just go for that simple one here. Okay. And so then we go over to the actual tools. We have a calendar here. You cannot just have a calendar. So you do have to go over to plugins and select the full calendar plugin, which bubble has built by itself. Okay, uh, then we go over to the group setup. So we have the repeating group, which just searches for all coaches. We could, of course, just search for coaches which are available in this month or something, but we're just gonna go for this, very simple. And now what we want to do here is we have another group called group coach, which depending on the coach we click here, shows the availability of just that coach. So it's type coach. And then when we click this group over here, we use display data to display the coach we click in that group. So we can see that working here. If we click Marielle, it says Marielle's availability. And we already see in April already two things were booked. So how do we set up the calendar is the next question. We have the calendar here and we tell it to search for appointments in the database. So all appointments in the database. And we only want to show those appointments where the coach is the one we selected. So in that group. So we don't want to see it when we click Marielle, Ali's appointments, just Marielle's. Okay, then the next trick is when we click here, that day, we want to see that day in this group. So how do we do that? Well, we have another group here. And this group expects a date. So depending on the date we click in the calendar, we want to see a date here. So it's type date. So just a reminder, we do not only have type of content, I don't know, appointments or user, but also date and also date range, date interval, number, text are all possible. So then what we need to do is we actually have an event here. When we click the empty box, we have a calendar days event is clicked or a calendar day is clicked. So in this case, if we click the whatever, 1st of May, then we want to see the 1st of May in that group. So therefore we selected that. And when that calendar is clicked, display this current day in the group. By the way, of course, we could even add one day if we have some kind of weird current calendar. But it's just good to know that this is not kind of set in stone. You can even add your own things as you want. Okay. So now the next part is showing this option set of all the hours in the group. So in this case, I have another repeating group. And 
to select all hours, what I did is here is I did get an option and I selected hours and I did all options. This is all hours. You could also make it that you do group. So we have coaches. Okay, we it's not allowed, but if each coach had a list of hours in the database, then we could also do group coaches, coaches, list of hours to show just the hours of that person. For example, if their standard hours are nine to four, we would only see nine to four in the group instead of here, all hours from zero to 23. But we skip that for now. And now the next part is of course, showing that hour in the repeating group. And now for the different buttons, we saw a request and we saw also booked. We could of course give them different colors. So to do that, we have added a few buttons, such as first the request button, which we conditionally hide because we only want to show the request button if nothing has been booked in this hour. Nothing has been booked in this hour. This is a search we perform in Bubble. So we want to search for appointments of that coach, so the coach we just selected, and of exactly that hour. And also, not only that, I just notice you also want to exclude other dates. So just appointments of that day of that hour. So you would do, I believe this is the date group dates date. So if appointments at that coach hour date exists, then we want to show the request the button uh, do not exist. So first item is empty. Okay. And when we click request, what happens then we want to create a new appointment. So we use create a new thing. We create a new appointment with the date of group dates, the coach of the coach we selected and the hour of the hour we selected. And what we don't have to do is we don't have to sa save the created by date because every appointment already has a creator. So if the user is the person clicking it, we already know that creator. So we know the creator is the person logged in. Okay, and then in the case someone has clicked request, we want to then show the button booked for other users. So therefore we have two buttons exactly beneath each other, but this time showing the booked button only if there's already something booked at exactly this date. So this date, this hour, this coach, and then we want to show the booked button so that no one can click it. So therefore this button, if we actually check it, we have no workflow attached to it. So that allows us to either book or request, um, yeah, just book. So we click Ali, we click the 10th of May, And we just notice while reviewing the app, we changed here the all hours. So therefore we saw nothing. I was just explaining things. So we click Ali, we click the 10th of May. Now we see all the hours and we can click request on a few. Here we can see all the requests. If we wanted to, we could hide the requests and just show those which are approved or just show empty dates or just show Ali's available dates, but we're just going for showing all appointments. And by the way, also I added a feature to delete this appointment. If you just notice, oh, actually I can't make that day at 2 a.m. because who can make a call at 2 a.m. So you can click the delete button here and here and the delete button in case you did not know. So also we only want to show it if there is a coach at this hour, at this date, created by the current user. So you only want to be able to delete your own appointments, of course, not other people's appointments. Then we show the trash button and when we click, we see the delete appointment. Which appointment do we want to delete? We want to search for all appointments created by that coach, by that user, by that hour and by that date. Okay, and then the last part is seeing just your appointments. So here you just search for appointments created by the current user. 
and then maybe only showing the accepted appointments, so accepted equals yes. If you check here underneath appointments, I actually set appointments to immediately be accepted no upon creation. This means that first Ali or whichever coach is logged into their own account on their own page might see something like search for appointments with coach equal group coaches coach or coach equals current user would be Ali if Ali is logged in. And they can then see all their appointments, seeing the date formatted as day, month, year, or month, day, year, and then the hours as well as with whom, with a coach, or maybe you could also show the creator's name. Okay, and then when they click accept, all which happens is accept it goes to yes of the current sales appointment. And when accept it goes to yes, then it can be found underneath that user's appointments underneath accept it equals yes. Okay, so that was it. So we have coaches. When we click a coach, we see that coach because this is a group type coach. Then when we click a date, we see a date because we, uh, this is type date. And then when we click request, we create a new appointment for that hour, for that date, for that coach. And we show booked because we've already now got an appointment at this hour, at this date, but on another day, it would not show booked, whereas here it would. Okay, and then you can see my appointments, Ali's appointments, because we just search for all appointments in the database with a certain person as the coach or a certain username, less person who can then accept it. And then it would turn up uh, here depending on who's logged in at the moment. So I hope this video helps. For short tips on Bubble, check tipplesser.com. Cheers.